Are you a natural born leader? Do you want a thriving career? Do you want to make lots of money? Do you want to be your own boss? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, welcome to our monthly sales report meeting. Before we get started, I'd like to hand out um, a few things you should all look over. Ryan, the manager, is demonstrating leadership by conducting an important meeting. As he discusses their numbers for the month, he is looking for areas of improvement. He is looked up to for guidance and works as a liaison. This requires to have conceptual skills, which is the ability to envision all functions involved in a given situation to understand how its parts depend on one another and anticipate how a change in any of its parts will affect the whole. Another important skill to have as a manager is human skill. As Ryan is checking in with his team, he is able to work with, understand, and motivate them as individuals. There are many different career options you can pursue with the management team. Management positions are divided into three tiers, a lower tier, a middle tier, and a higher tier. Popular middle tier career options include being a human resources manager, a sales manager, a marketing manager, or a financial manager. Further along in your career, you have the opportunity to move up to a higher tier position such as a CEO, a COO, or a CFO of a company. Did you know that after 10 years, a person with a management degree can earn more than someone with a different business degree? I bet you didn't know that. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, a graduate with a management degree can earn up to $104,000 a year. The employment of management occupations is expected to grow by 7% from 2018 to 2028. Wow, that's impressive. It really is. Come on down to Boxing Hall to 113 at Season to declare business management as if you're your choice. I'll see you there.